Hello everyone, it's Hadrian here. How is everyone doing? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a quick DIY video for all of you. Some of you guys have requested um, a video for how I dyed my suede Puenza. So here it is. Um, I purchased this bag on Poshmark for the low low price of one hundred dollars. And if you guys and if um, you guys know about Puenza schooler bags, the usually this style and model usually runs upwards of sixteen hundred dollars. So I was very 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 fortunate to purchase this bag. And this bag was authenticated. It is authentic. Um, there were just a couple little things that were wrong with it. Um, there's that darkening in the back which is probably just gene transfer and there were some tears inside the bag that were professionally fixed but what can you do the bag was only a hundred dollars I had to go for it um, also prior to receiving the bag it was already professionally cleaned as well so I didn't have to do that but if you are interested in seeing a video for how to clean suede um, in the top right hand corner I'll have a little link to um, how I cleaned the suede on my Celine handbag that I recently purchased and rehabilitated. Let's get started with what we're going to need to perform this feat. So of course the bag is essential. Then we're going to use the Angelus black suede dye and the Angelus black leather dye. The reason we need to use the regular leather dye is because the underside of the strap is regular leather and not suede. And to protect the surface of my table, because I have spilled numerous times in the past, we're going to be using a piece of cardboard. And don't forget, there are also paintbrushes to do little corners, again, to the nooks and crannies of the bag. And there's that <laughs> cardboard that I was talking about. I'm just going to put that under there. And inside the Angelus dye boxes, um... They come with handy dandy daubers, which are excellent at spreading the dye on the bag, though they are not very good at conserving the dye. Whenever I use them, I think that they just suck up all the dye, though they are really good at spreading the dye evenly on the surface. I feel like just after using the dauber a couple times with the dye, all the dye just disappears, but... It's fine. Um, so we're going to use that box. We're going to cut it open and I'm going to be placing it on my work surface and using tape to secure it down so that it does not move and to cover up those little cracks in the box that might allow dye to seep through. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Um, here is the dye. Make sure to use um, there's like a little opening inside the box where you stand the dye in. Make sure to use this. This is essential because for some reason every time I don't use this box, my dye tips over and it gets everywhere. And trust me, you do not want that to happen to you. It has happened to me on numerous occasions and I am a believer of the box. So just trust me and use the box and you won't have any spillage. It's amazing. So, with um, that being said, don't forget to shake up your dye really well. You want to make sure that it's nicely mixed so that you get a nice and even application on the bag. I also forgot to mention that gloves are essential for any of these dye jobs that you're going to be doing for bags or shoes or anything. You don't want the dye to stay in your fingers. It's happened to me too. And you do not want to walk around with colored hands. It's not that fun. And without further ado, we're going to start dyeing the bag. So shake up that dye really well. Don't forget to use the box and begin application. Now, on the bag, you're going to see um, the exposed string that stitches the bag down. Sometimes, especially when a bag is newer, there is still going to be a wax coating on that string. And the reason that wax coating is there is to allow the um, string to glide through the leather evenly and not break while it is being sewed together. But it's a little bit harder to dye that and to 
counteract that, all you really need is to use, I recommend, Angelus Black Acrylic Paint or whatever color is going to match the dye that you're using. And mix that up with a little bit of water and just go over those strings. And that would be the easiest way to color the string. Sometimes the dye is not as effective um, in coloring the string as it is for the leather. So make sure to do that. And if you get any dye on the hardware, don't worry about that. Um, later on, you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover on a little paintbrush, and it'll just come right off. So don't worry if you get a little bit on there, it's going to be fine. And if you have a zipper pull, like that zipper pull in the back of the bag, there's the, that piece of fabric that the zipper is attached to. Do not use the leather die for the suede or regular leather on it. It's going to make the fabric very hard, and it's going to be harder to open and close that zipper. The best thing to do is to, again, use, the, um, the, use acrylic paint and water it down just a little bit, and you can go ahead and just paint right on that fabric, and it will color it. Um, and again, if you get any of that paint on the metal, you can just wipe it off. If you wipe it off right away, you won't have to use nail polish remover, but if you decide to do it a little bit, you're going to want to have to use a little nail polish remover on a brush or a key hey to get it off. So this is the finished product. Sorry the lighting is not the best. It's kind of late, but I wanted to show you guys how the bag turned out. And sorry, some of the footage is missing. I don't know what happened while I was filming, but some of the um, footage was lost. But all the steps are there. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop me a message down in the comments below. And I will be happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. But this is the bag. It looks gorgeous. All black suede now. This was the Proenza PS1 Medium. And the original color is this pink. I kept it in here as an homage to the original color. So, and again, to clean off the hardware, all you need is some rubbing alcohol and a little and a brush, or you can use a um, nail polish remover, and any dye that got on that will come right off. Um, if your string, the stitching, is still a little bit resistant to the dye, all you need is just a little bit of um, the Angelus black acrylic paint and you can water it down a little if you like and then just go over all that stitching and it will turn black. So this is the bag again. So cute. I think I'm going to get so much use out of this and I am so 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 excited. Um, this is like such just like a great size. It's not too big and it's not too small. The medium actually holds a ton. So if you guys want to see like a what's in my bag for this or anything or a review, let me know. Leave it down in the comments below. If you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. That'll help a lot. If you guys have any suggestions for anything you guys do want to see, um, definitely leave a comment down below. I do videos daily. I do these um, DIY um, bag rehab videos. I do thrifting, hauls, and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for spending some time out of your day with me today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!